I think we should do this, don't you? Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Florence, Colorado, about 45 minutes south of Colorado Springs for the Florence Merchants Car Show. This is a really cool little town, and today they got about 500 cars here and more antique stores than I've ever seen in one place. Going to be a good time? Let's get around and check out some of these Colorado rides. Matt, how you doing, man? Very well. How are you, sir? What a cool show. Well, thank you very much. What a cool town. Thank you. It's a wonderful town. It's it, a little town, but uh, it's a great town. Man, I, I have to say there are probably more antique stores in one area than I have ever seen. That's right. They call it the antique capital of Colorado. Do they really? So, I mean, yeah, they do. And they're all such cool shops. I mean, this is a this is an old town too. Most it of these is. buildings are like 1890s and yep. stuff. Yep, mid to late 1800s. Man. It was a mining town and a coal town, a oil town. Well, and what, so what a great setting for a car show. Yeah, it's fantastic. So, and, and we've done such cool things since we've been here. You know, we, uh, the, the shot over at the gorge, yes. the Royal Gorge Bridge yesterday. It's beautiful. Huh. That's a long way down. I mean, if, if, if you've never seen that, you can't almost believe it exists. That's right. You know, it's just so cool. And you don't get to take cars across this usually. So this was a very special day, but I'm telling you, if you, uh, afraid of heights, probably not the bridge for you. So then, you know, we travel all the time, we live in hotels and stuff, but you guys <laughs> put us up in this retro trailer park. Living a dream in a vintage single wide. I mean, those are cool. Airbnb, right? Yeah, yeah they're on Airbnb and uh, Barnett, <laughs> you know, redid them from scratch just like you do an old car. It, it's awesome. I yeah. mean, I just, I just, it is back in time. But this town is packed today. Yes, How many cars is. do you have? We have 498 cars. Wow. Yeah. That's a record. That is a record. Um, we've doubled it. We had 212 uh, last year. And 17 years ago, we started with 11. So, Just really some interesting cars in this neck of the woods. There are, yeah. We have some amazing mechanics who uh, do most of us at home, actually, and, yeah. and just build stuff from scratch. And Yeah, and, and people seem to be having a really good time today, too. Yeah, they are. The weather's broken. It looks great, and uh, everyone's out and having a good time. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, I tell you, let's uh, let's go look at some of these cars. Sounds, Sounds good. All right. Yeah, ready to do it. That. <laughs> well, Tremaine. This is a fantastic car. I just love these. This is a, a 1960 Chrysler wagon. What's the model? Windsor. Windsor. These are just such stunning cars. You don't see them. You took this baby across the Royal Gorge Bridge. We got a shot of it. Yes, it's we like did. It's like to die for. <laughs> was that awesome going across? That was once in a lifetime. Wasn't it Once though? in a lifetime. When you <laughs> straddle the whole bridge with 50 cars. And it kind of dances too, doesn't it? It's a little bit of weight on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's this is awesome. now. Uh, you've done really kind of a mild custom job on it. Yes. But really a tasteful one. Who built this? So this was designed and had it built by a guy named Max Grundy. Yeah. He's an artist out in California. We just fell in love with it when we saw it. This wasn't a factory color, was it? No, this is a factory Nissan color. You know, it's this just got a such secret. a 60s look to it, though. I just love it. And this, this grill, too, is a big grill. I love these wheels, too. So the wheels are a one-off to kind of replicate the look of the car, the look of the hubcaps. Yeah. I love the uh, what you did with the interior, too. That's uh, what that's kind of the forward look uh, feel, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. A little homage to Virgil Exner. And then, of course, the Astrodome yes. instrument cluster, the best the instrument beautiful. cluster ever made. One of the best places <laughs> in the world to sit, right there behind that, oh. and uh, the, the soft glow of the green light. Yeah, and, how cool is that? Yes, sir. Push button torque flight? Push button, three speed, man, iron man. torque flight. But your tail lights, I mean, it's like, this is like a boomerang. It's, and when they light up at night, it's, it's a thing oh, of beauty. It is a it thing really is. of beauty. And this is the, the throw up seat? The throw up seat, <laughs> which <laughs> ride backwards. So far, my kid has uh, not christened it, but uh, <laughs> he likes sitting back there watching the cars go by. Oh man, I just, I just love everything about this car. This piece of trim, these handles. Yes. And these are cast. They weigh about 20 pounds. Really? <laughs> really? Cast. And this is where the factory fill was for this car? Since it's a wagon, the fuel tank is stuffed in this fender right oh, here. Oh, you mean it stands it's... up. Oh, wow. In that fender. Well, that's crazy. Yes, sir. So this would have, well, let's go see what this has. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, hey, now that looks nice. You lowballed it. <laughs> that looks good. What, so what are we looking at? So it's a 383 RB, cast iron torque flight, three speed behind it. Single master. <laughs> yes. <laughs> through these through these mountains? Through roads. the mountains, which uh, we like to live dangerously. <laughs> well, you're still living, so you're doing okay. We're doing okay. Man, oh man. I tell you, like I said, I mean, I just love everything about this car. 1960 Windsor wagon. Yowza. Yes. <laughs> you're Thank the you, man. Sir. Thank you. Well, Scott, this is a this is a cool car. This is a '55 Dodge. '55 Dodge La Femme. La Femme. La Femme. Now, <laughs> they actually created this car to appeal to women and named yes, it the La did. Femme. Yes, they did. That's got to limit its appeal to a certain extent. It pretty huh? much did, and it didn't really go over very well. They built them in '55 and '56. That was it. And that was it. That wow. was the end of it. Wow. That was the end of it. So, so I mean, this this was a cool car. I mean, very '50s. You got this, you know. Pink and white. What is what's this? Effect? They call that Heather Rose. Heather Rose. Is what they call the pink. Perfect color. Yes, yes, for a La Femme. yes it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> and plenty of chrome too. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of bumper going on there's there. There's a lot there? of chrome on these. They really dolled them up. Man, I mean, what a cool car. And it is really a kind of a female-focused car. I mean, like pinks and, and uh, uh, brocades. Yes, it is. Now, has this even got a pink hue to it? It the does. Vinyl does. It does. Yes, wow. it does. <laughs> so this is an automatic, but it's not a push button. Nope. It's it, they come out push button in '56. So this okay. is a power flight. Original wheel. I love that. Man, it's, you know, the, this little dip here is really nice. The badging V8 and these the taillights kind of the and the chrome fins. Baby fins, I baby guess. Fins. Yeah. Well, they're just '55. Yep. They, they hadn't gotten real wild yet Man. with the fins. There yeah, we have. That's the surprise. There the, we are. The super red ram Hemi. Did it have? It didn't really have the pink. No, that was something covers, that I it? added. I just thought it kind of dressed <laughs> it up a little bit. I have the original silver ones at home. Uh, it is a 270 cubic inch Hemi engine. They built the car for the women, but I guess you had to have a little bit for the husband. Well, yeah. You know, if, you, if he was going to drive it to town, he had to have a little the bit of a reason to do it. The little lady still likes horse farming. That's, that's, well, this is true. This is true. <laughs> wow. 1955 Dodge La Femme. La Femme. With the super red Ram Hemi. Yes, it is. Holy cow, I love that yes, car. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Dennis, thank you so much. What an honor. Wow. Thank you. We're standing here, and another La Femme just went by. Now, we know of less than 30 of them that exist, and here we have two of them at this car show. You can't swing a dead cat around here without hitting a 55 La Femme. I don't get it. So, Debbie. Yes. I can't. This is yours. This is, is your La Femme. This is my Not Femme. to be confused with the other La Femme. Not that one. Not There's only a handful of these on Earth, and there are two of them in Florida. And what is the chance? Not only does Debbie have this awesome car, she has all the goodies that came with it. I can't believe it. Everything a girl needs. Everything a girl needs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, these are probably worth as much as the car. I would think so. But that's just... the actual comb? Yes. And it's not broken? No. Wow. And a gold lighter? Yes. So it came with lighter. A cigarette case? Because it was 55. Everybody smokes. Everybody smoked. <laughs> came with the compact, came with the change Oh purse. my gosh. It came with a, a mirror, even though there is a mirror in the compact. You can never have too many stick. mirrors. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you. This is so thank cool. You. <laughs> thank you. And she looks so good, doesn't she? She looks, this is her car for oh, sure. A nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, this is pretty cool. 68 Mercury Cyclone. GT Fastback. GT Fastback. This is a car you don't see too many of around anymore. They crushed a lot of them, I think, or they, either that or they rusted away. No, well, a lot of them uh, wrapped around a tree. That happened too. Yeah, that did happen. You know, because you get going too fast, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. People did drive these a little bit rowdy back then, yes, didn't they? Yes, they did. I, you, don't, you don't do that anymore. No, sure. heavens, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Ain't been caught. <laughs> now, this is basically a Torino, isn't it? A Ford it, Torino. It, it's actually on based on the same thing. Really? Yeah, you know, the Ford Torino GT Fastback. Yep. It's a cool color. It's a stock color too, right? Yeah, it's called a Frost Lime. Man. And yeah. that's, a, that's the factory scoop? No, that's a, that's off a of Cyclone Eliminator. Well, yeah. man, she's really straight. I mean, somebody did some work on this thing. And also, I mean, like, the interior looks completely original. Is that? It's is all it? it's almost all original. And it's got, what, a C6 trans or something? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. That's been wound up. We had it wound up. Yeah. And I, I always like this body style a lot. The Fastback's a cool-looking car. I love the car. Yeah, man. I love the car. Now, the taillights are different on the Merc, just right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yep. 
Man, I it's mean, all just, original, and I had everything re-chromed. This is a real '60s stance. Everybody drops them now, but you're up there. This oh. is what you, you took her to the drag strip. This, this is what they look like, this man. This is what I wanted. This now, is what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, she's badge 390, but I heard you rumbling in here. You've done something. Let's go look at that. Yeah, okay. Okay, look, kind of looks like a 390. Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> we, we bored at 60 over, and we stuffed in a mother thumper comp cam and <laughs> ten and a half pistons and then um, Whoa. we found a 428 Super Cobra Jet crankshaft for this steel crank stuffed it in the hole. Wow so that I mean this thing must pump out some horsepower. It's got a little bit it's like 430 to the flywheel. Let's fire it Let's up. Let's fire it up. Yeah. Okay Rick, so 1968 Merck Cyclone Frost Lime, punched out 60 over, yeah. 400 some odd horsepower. Yowza, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for coming out today, Thank man. You. Thank you. Thank you. Man, Jim, this is a pretty truck. Thank you. This is a this is a really clean 78 F-150 Ranger, right? Right. I mean, it's really in nice shape. And it's a unique option package. You got a short bed. Now, now, where was Ranger in the trim level? I believe it was one below the XLT. Okay. And right. uh, but it was above the customs. Yeah. They made a lot of the F-150s, of course. Yes. But this thing with the options, this is really rare, isn't it? This is one of 200 with this trim package and paint coat. Out of how many? 47,000. 47,000? Rangers. It's like one of, wow, mm -hmm. man. And, and I like the interior, too. It looks pretty original. It is all original other than carpet, I believe, but the seat's still the original seat. And it's got some issues, but uh, <laughs> I'd rather say that it's a 40-year-old seat. Exactly. Because <laughs> it's, it's only original one. That's right. And I think, I mean, the short bed's what kind of caught my eye. It's That's pretty uncommon. It's kind of odd for a Colorado truck to not get the big, long, gnarly, right, you yeah. know, we're going to do some work. Yeah, everybody stuff. works with them. And this one was babied from brand new. <laughs> it's just, it's just awesome. You get, I guess that's an aftermarket bumper, yes, it but is. I mean, this thing is, this thing is pretty stock. Yeah, it is very stock. So, I, well, I'm not even going to ask. Let's just go see what you got for an engine. You betcha. They were equipped with either a 351 or a 400. Wow. And this is the 400 and pretty much all original in stock. That is packed in there. It is. Has it ever been out? No. Oh, really? No. So how many miles? 81,000. Just continues to keep ticking. It right? runs great. Yeah, I man, that, that is one pretty truck. So it's yeah. 1978 F-150 Ranger short bed, nice truck. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it out, Jim. Uh -huh. that, that is cool. I love okay. it. Well, Bob, this is cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Well, it's a copy of a 1925 Oakland Speedster, Indianapolis style that they would have made that you had the riding mechanic during the race. Uh, the body is mostly wood. What's the frame? The frame is all handmade, two by three square tubing. It's a double leg frame that goes Oh, like back, so scratch but, built, right? Yes, I oh, hand, built, wow. hand built the frame. So you came up with the suspension and everything? Well, it's copied after early Ford, but it uses Chevrolet spindles so I could run the early style General Motors wheels to make it look authentic. Okay. Oliver tractor? Uh, Moline tractor. Oh, okay. But it's been shortened four inches and the top has been pie cut so it rotates up to keep the hood line. And then the trim down the hood yeah. is your basic wrought iron handrail. Oh, I see that, yeah, uh-huh. You, you, yeah. you run your hand down your front porch many a time. It, I, I recognize it, yeah. Yes. So uh, what are the windscreens? Uh, they? Brooklands, they're from England. Okay. They're the regular British sports car Brooklyn windshields. So you've done all of this, eh? Yes, all of it. So even the, even the upholstery? Yes, even That's the upholstery. Right. Love, the, love the, the thumbtacks, the, the taxi. Uh, yeah, the seats are copied after the aluminum bomber seat, but they're made out of poplar, and they have stainless steel tension so do, rods. I mean, do you build the seat, too? Yes. Oh, wow. And yeah. I love the seat belts. I mean, yes. Well, they're, they're seat belts. They're, and so they're belts seat on seats. With yeah. belts, right. <laughs> and the steering wheel is hand cut out of aluminum, and then the pieces are made. And the speedometer's out of a 
1948 Chevrolet pickup. That's what it looks like. Open pipes, I mean, it's... it's no, it does have a bathroom. It does. But it uh, more or less sounds like a jet engine when it's running. <laughs> well, let's, and speaking of that, let's, let's talk about the engine. Well, we're looking at basically a 1954 Chevrolet 235-6. Uh -huh. The exhaust manifold has been reconfigured and handmade. The intake manifold, all the runners and the machine work inside was all hand done so we could use the two SU carburetors. The side draft carburetors are more period correct right. for, uh, you know, like the early Jags and the road cars had side draft carburetors that hung out in the wind. Well, is this thing a kick to drive? It is, it's absolutely, but it's also you can drive it with one finger. Well, you got the only uh, Oakland Repla Speedster here. Yes, I do. And I love it. Thanks, Well, Bob. thank you very much, <laughs> sir. Enjoyed having you around. Way cool. Oh, man. I like this town, and I like this show. Florence, Merchant's Car Show, Florence, Colorado. Check this one out.